Hello, this is a follow-up video to my wildly successful Colt 1903 Model M first variation 32 ACP field strip. I'm going to show you an easier way to uh, field strip the pistol and we'll get started real quickly here. First thing you want to do is remove the magazine. Check the chamber, ensure there's no cartridges loaded in the gun. Next, and this is, this is an easier way than what I originally showed you, by taking your thumb and your forefinger, there's a little indicator here on the, on the slide that needs to be aligned with the frame. And by using your thumb and forefinger like so, squeezing back, it makes it a, a quite a bit easier to field strip the gun. And then uh, once this is aligned, I'm doing it by feel rather than sight here. Turn the barrel clockwise. Ease up the pressure on the slide. Let it go forward. At this point you can remove your guide rod and your recoil spring. To remove the barrel, and this is a big difference between the first and the later second and third variations of the 1903, you have a separate barrel bushing. This needs to be removed before the barrel can be removed from the slide. Simply rotate it 180 degrees and then pull it out of the front of the weapon. You can then turn your barrel down so the lugs are facing down and pull it directly out the front of the slide. And that completes the field strip. Reassembly is in the reverse order. Insert the barrel into the slide lugs down until you reach the cutout in the slide. At that point, turn the barrel clockwise to lock it in place. Insert the barrel bushing, lugs facing up, until it fully seats. Then rotate it down. It doesn't have to be perfectly aligned with this lock lug down here. Uh, you'll do that when you insert the guide rod and the spring. Next step, take your guide rod and your spring. Mushroom head of the guide rod is to the rear. Insert these into the frame of the gun. It's a little cutout down in there for them. Next, take the slide. Start it onto the slide rails. And then use your finger to align the spring. We can do that. There we go. Okay. Now sometimes the barrel will rotate a little bit. You want to make sure that the extractor cutout is facing straight down. And then pull it back. This is the toughest part right here is getting that aligned. There we go. Barrel turns down into the locking lugs on the frame. Ease it forward. You may insert your empty magazine at that point. And function check. Grip safety on the back of the gun has to be depressed. There is no magazine safety on these so they will fire uh, with or without a magazine in place. There you go. Hopefully that makes that field strip a little easier. Thank you for watching.